Christ to the top, 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 top. Hello, Patimanians. You are now listening to the Phoenix Online Tambayan Podcast where we talk about all things OLFU. Sit back, relax, and let's all have a good time. Welcome to the Phoenix Online Tambayan's pilot episode. I am your host for today, J.R. Siston, a faculty member of the College of Business and Accountancy from OLFU Valenzuela Campus. Today, we want, to go, uh, we want you to go back to where it all began to the start of a new chapter in a student's life. This episode will be about the OLFU journey. Joining me today is a certified true Fatimanian. She has been with OLFU since she was in senior high school where she took up ABM and now she is a second year BS nursing student in OLFU Antipolo. Fatimanians, we have with us Miss Kyla Angelica Magno. Awesome day to you, Kyla. Hello, sir. Good afternoon po. Good afternoon, Kyla. Um, uh, how do you want me to call you, Kyla or, or Angelica? Yes, please call me as Kyla po. Ah, Kyla na lang. Okay. So, Kyla, uh, syempre maraming, mar- mar- maraming interested, no? Uh, yes, sir. Where did you learn about OLFU? So, syempre, ang pinag-usapan natin is about your journey Uh, with uh, OLFU, no? Siyempre, ang una nating question is, where did you learn about OLFU? Actually, sir, nung time po namin na yun, second batch po kasi kami ng senior high school. So, mm-hmm. we were really looking for a university na we are going to spend senior high mm-hmm. school. And yung Fatima po kasi is known noon sa aming place here in Antipolo kasi uh-huh. uh, it was very accessible for us. And yung higher batches din po sa school namin ay nag-enroll na rin po sa OLFU. Mm-hmm. So talagang medyo matunog na po siya sa amin nung time na yon. O- mm-hmm. Almost all of my classmates din po ay gustong mag-enroll sa OLFU. Kaya talagang notable na, sh- na sa amin yung... Uh, yung Fatima. And um, just a fact po, my brother also studied in OLFU. So, wow! Yes may sibling discount May sibling discount ka. <laughs> yes po. <laughs> yes. Um, ayun po. So, syempre, parang na-encourage din po ako na mag-apply. So, basically, through word of mouth ko po talaga nalaman kung ano po ba talaga yung all for or... And yes po. Oh, ah, kaya natanong ko lang, no? Ah, nad- nadagdag ba nadagdag ba sa sa isa sa mga kinonsider mo sa OLFU yung ganda ng campus kasi alam mo sa akin ha sa lahat ng campuses ng OLFU ha sorry ha Antipolo ang pinakagusto kong campus <laughs> ikaw ba? Sa palagay, actually ba? yes po kasi um, medyo small community lang po yung school namin so parang nakaka-inspire na ang laki ng Fatima like merong four buildings noon mm-hmm. kasi ngayon po di ba uh, alam ko five buildings na po siya like may bagong Correct. building po ano so talagang sobrang encouraging na parang hala ang laki ng school ko tapos Correct. ang ganda ng ano ng facility so Correct. talagang Oo. tapos kagandahan no talagang tabi niyo pa yung isa pa nating yung isa pa nating parang kapitbahay dyan, yung Fatima University Medical Center, no? Yes po. Yes okay. po, naabutan po namin yung paggawa Oo. po sa FU. <laughs> okay. Kaila, tanong ko lang, sorry to ask you, no? Yes uh, po. Ano course ng brother mo? Uh, he was uh, BSBA Marketing Management po. Wow. Well, yes. kung, siguro kung nandun ako sa Antipolo na, na, na handle ko sa class yung, yung kapatid mo kasi di ba sa College of Business and Accountancy ako and I yes teach. Yes po, sir. Oo, oh, oh, marketing. Okay. So, Kaila, let me give you another question no yes po what sir what made you decide to enroll in OLFU no there's a lot of universities around the area now why OLFU or why did you choose to start your academic journey in college in our college with OLFU no what makes OLFU special to you sa so, totoo lang marami po talaga akong reasons na win noon okay. but for now I'll I'll highlight at least three reasons na talaga nag nag convince sa akin sa Fatima. Okay. So syempre so, number one, three reasons mo na yan. Interesting yes, yung three po. reasons mo na yan. <laughs> syempre po number one, accessibility kasi mm-hmm. Fatima is just one ride away from our house po. So una sa wow. lahat, wala ka na talagang traffic na iisipin Correct, and no? tapos na sa highway lang siya, di ba? Yes po. So sobrang accessible niya for me. And mm-hmm. next of course is napaka-affordable po ng tuition. And who wouldn't want ang affordable po na tuition, di ba? So we Correct. are... Oo, oo naman, di ba? Yes. But that's one of the reasons why... Uh, exactly. uh, that's one of the reasons of what we assess on picking a school po talaga. Mm-hmm. 
And okay. um, lastly is noong time po na yun, they also accept ano, DepEd voucher since senior high school po. Correct. So, talagang oh. na ano namin, na, na-utilize po namin yun. And then at the same time, pag dumiretso po kasi sa college, isa po yun sa reasons why I continued. Mm-hmm. May mga scholarship offerings exactly. po sila. Oh. And um, may benefits po talaga. Like, kapag dun ka nag-senior high and then dumiretso po ng college, nag- nagkaroon po kami ng alumni discount, mm-hmm. nagkaroon po kami ng credited subject. So talagang, um, yun po yung nag-convince sa akin why I decided to enroll in OLFU. Wow! Gusto, gusto, gusto ko yung three reasons mo. Yes. Yung natin, yung unang mong reason, yung accessibility, di ba? Yes, so, sir. Nasa highway lang siya. Pangalawa, you are talking about the affordability, which is correct, no? Siyempre, ang education ng Fatima, affordable, pero we have the best ano naman, education, di ba? And pangatlo, nag-honor tayo ng mga scholarships, tapos yes, nag-honor natin mga voucher. Wow, thank you. Uh, thank you, Kyla. Napakaganda ng mga reasons pa na yan. Okay, sorry, Kyla, to ask you, no? I'm just interested to know. In yes, my introduction, so, I have mentioned that you were an ABM senior high school graduate of OLFU. And now you are a second-year BS nursing student in OLFU Antipolo. ABM is Accountancy Business and Ma- uh, Management Program. So why did you pursue a nursing program? What is the interesting story behind the shift of interest? Ayan po. Um, <laughs> it is actually po ever since I was a kid. I was mm-hmm. really set out na I will be working in the business field. Like, yun talaga yung mindset ko. And I, I even said na, hindi ko nakikita yung sarili ko na nasa medical field. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, <laughs> uh, yes. And then after senior high school, you know when those moments na you, had, you just had a change of heart, Mm-hmm. out of the blue with a snap of a finger na biglang Correct. realize mo na lang na you are not where you are supposed to be. Correct. Na something better <laughs> is out there for you na feeling ko uh, meron pang dapat na para sa akin and nothing against the business field. I and I truly enjoyed yung business field po talaga pero wow. parang sabi ko hindi siya para sa akin. So ayun, uh, I started exploring ibang courses and mm-hmm. I focused on the medical field. Sabi ko, mm-hmm. uh, why not try? Sabi ko ganyan, Sa- try something new, try something mm-hmm. um, Different. interesting. Yes po. Um, and then, sin- ang dami rin nagsasabi sa akin na I-, I look good in white uniform. So sabi ko, sige, <laughs> okay. medical ano tayo. Okay. Yes po. So talagang nakadagdag din yun. And mm-hmm. um, ang dami ko po talagang choices noon. Like, inisip ko physical therapy. Actually, no, actually so sorry to cut you know. Actually, yes, yung po. nursing ba, yun ang nilagay mo na first choice mo. Pinsan, di ba tinatanong tayo ng school, di ba three choices natin. So yes, nursing po. ba talaga ang nilagay mo? Ano no, yung pangalawang po. choice mo? Nursing Ay, hindi, Hindi nurse yung nilagay mo. <laughs> Hindi po. Ah, ang, ang unang option ko po talaga is medtech. Tapos medtech. physical therapy. And huli ko okay. pong naisip yung nursing. Wow. Tapos yes, yung pa yung oh. third choice mo, parang pinakalist pa na interest. Oh, yung pa yung uh, nakuha mo na course, no? Oh, okay. Oh. Sige, Pero, continue. Um, Kaila. Mm. The moment I thought of it po kasi, parang I knew it was meant for me. Mm-hmm. So parang, uh, it, parang siyang calling. Parang naging calling po yeah. sa sabi mm-hmm. na parang pag iisip ko, ay nursing, hindi ko naalala. Tapos yeah, pagkaanala okay. ko po sa kanya, like sinabi ko, ah, ito na, may nanalo na. Okay, okay. Uh, tanong ko lang, uh, Kyla, so, sa family nyo ba may mga uh, may mga doctors ba kayo, may nurses din ba kayo, or may, may mga nasa field din ba kayo ng mga, ng mga medical ano, professions? Actually, wala po. Kaya po, I really don't have any interest sa medical field kasi wala rin po sa family, family namin Uh-oh. yung inclined po sa medical. Uh-oh. So, kaya <laughs> so, ayun po. Hindi eh, kuya mo kasi marketing, no? Ilan ba kayo yes, magkakapatid? Po. Dalawa lang po kami ni Kuya. Oo. So, okay na yun. May, bis, may isang mag- magiging businessman. Tapos may yes, isang po. taga... Oo, oh, ba? At least, maganda yung division ng profession sa loob ng bahay nyo, no? Okay. Okay. Uh, gusto ko lang, Kyla, i-promote lang yung iba, na, iba, na, iba natin mga programs, no? So, nasa College of Nursing Cast. So, meron din tayong uh, mga programs sa College of Pharmacy, College of Physical Therapy. Meron din tayong College of Medicine, College of Medical Laboratory Science. We have also College of Maritime Education. College of Hospitality Institutional Management, we have College of Education, College of Criminal Justice, and dami no, Kaila. Yes, College po. of Arts and Sciences, College of Computer Studies, we have also a College of Dentistry, College of Engineering, syempre may college, College of Business and Accountancy. All in all, we have 14 programs offer, of, offering, no? So, uh, ang dami pong options. Oh, diba? Kaya talaga, talaga malilito ka naman talaga, no? there's oh, a lot of oh. options, no? Okay, so Kaila, uh, let me give you another question, no? So yes, how did you enroll at OLFU? No, but uh, let let's put some twist on your answer. 
by only giving us memorable experience or stories during your enrollment? Hmm, a memorable experience. Actually, nothing much was interesting po, to be <laughs> honest. If I'm okay. being honest po. Kasi uh, nung time na yun, since senior high po, is face-to-face enrollment pa po mm-hmm. talaga nun. And, um... Pwede mo, ano, mo yun. Yeah, yes po. <laughs> When we go to uh, OLFU, bibigyan mm-hmm. na agad kayo ng procedural forms and uh-huh. may stations po na, uh, na naka-assign for every step. And sobrang continuous lang po niya. Actually, it was a one-day process for me. Wow. From the filling out of the forms, enrollment, scheduling, and even yung medical screening po. Wow. I was able to uh, achieve everything in one day lang po. So talagang... So, when sabi ko, ay, ang galing. Less hassle. Wow. Kailangan natin siguro palapakan, syempre, ang Antipolo Campus Admission <laughs> yes, Team. Yes, po. No? Sa, sa, sa sinasabi mong experience mo, napakabis, one-day process, no? Syempre, palapakan din natin ba natin mga admissions uh, team ng iba't ibang campuses, no? Yes, okay. Ka- Kaila, I want you to answer this, no? This, this is really something uh, interesting, no? Uh, let's talk about the difference between the enrollment procedures. Nung naabutan mo pa yung uh, parang mag-fall in line ka, Yes. During naman ngayon sa online, no? this is something about uh, online versus off. Are you parang offline and online? No? Yung, yes po, sir. going to fall in line and now online na. Anong difference nun ngayon? So I'm really glad na I get to experience yung face-to-face and yung online enrollment nga po. Kasi yun nga po yung face-to-face, continuous naman po siya. It was good, but mm-hmm. I think I prefer the online enrollment. Wow. For me kasi po, mas easier yung access mo sa lahat. At mm-hmm, the... Uh, at the and you're just at home. Like, mm-hmm. wala ka pong ibang gagawin. Mm-hmm. Nasa bahay ka lang, you can enroll. Napaka-efficient din po niya. And yung sa, ano po kasi, online er- enrollment, what we just did is, nag-pay lang po kami ng down payment. Mm-hmm. After paying the down payment, we go to the student portal. We are able to pick our desired schedule. Mm-hmm. Tapos, and you're done. If, if you can print out na yung ano, yung registration card, wala ka ng queuing process, hindi ka na babayahe, hindi ka na maliligo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Correct, no, Kayla? Yes po. Okay. So, kay, kay, ay, Kayla, dagdagan ko lang yung sinabi mo. No? So, let's, let, let's just educate lang yung mga listeners natin or inform lang natin sila na we have two options for college application. No? So, pwede sila mag-walk in so well if you campus or do it all online hopefully as highly recommended by the university no uh, you choose the second option no and apply from the comforts of your own home with our current situation no online application really is the best option no kaila sabi yes, nga nila so. kaila safety first no so guys sa sobrang dali mag-apply sa OLF uh, via online you can do it in these three uh, easy steps sabi ko nga kanina number 1 Kailangan nyo lang daw sagutan ang online application form. No? So, at this point of the application, wala ka pang kailangan ibigay na documents and other requirements. Just enter your valid uh, email address to get started and fill out the form. So, aside from basic in, uh, personal information, ilalagay mo rin dito kung saan OLFU campus mo gusto mag-apply and your preferred com- uh, college program. So, you can answer this in 10 minutes or less. Ganun, ganun ka rin baka bilis sumagot. Kaya, yes, no? pabilis lang po <laughs> talaga yung process. Pabilis lang, no? no? So, if Wala you're not yet... Queuing. Correct, no? If you're not uh, deci- uh, not yet decided on what course to take, check out your options, options, options. So, there's a lot of options, no? Uh, uh, these are the table of OLSU program offerings across all campuses. Okay, number two, okay, another step, no? Hintayin ang confirmation email from the OLFU admissions office. Now, this confirmation or the confirmation email lets you know that your online application has been received by the admissions teams, uh, admission team of your chosen campus. So makikita mo rin sa confirmation email ang iyong applicant reference number at mga next steps na kailangan mong gawin to settle your payment. So uh, if you need help regarding online payment, keep calm and contact your admissions team. They should be able to guide you through the uh, to the process. And number three, pinakala step natin, pay your in, uh, enrollment fees online. No? Sabi, complete your college application by paying your enrollment fees. So for incoming college pres- uh, freshmen, the minimum required fees includes no, or include an application fee of 500 pesos and a minimum down payment of 1,500. Don't worry. Mababawas naman uh, sa total tuition assessment mo 
ang ibabayad mong down payment. O ganun lang kabilis, Kaila, di ba? Yes, sir. Sobrang swerte po ng new students now kasi nga ganito na yung process. Meron ng online option. And at the same time, lalo na po yung risk na uh, may encounter natin when we get out, di ba? So talagang Correct. less risk Oo. po kapag ganito yung pinili nilang option. Wow. Okay. Kaila, ito naman, interesting to. Let's yes, talk sir. about naman all your first times, no? Kung mm. sabi marami ka mga first times sa <laughs> well, you know. So, of course, sir. <laughs> okay. Number one question, no, nung first year ka, no? How you got your OLF your registration card? Yung uh, registration card po namin, since yun nga po, ang application type ko po is face-to-face. So, you, we, we had stations. So, sa scheduling station po, I was able to pick ko ano po yung flexible na schedule for me mm-hmm. and yung mas preferred ko rin po. So, ayun. And then, uh, at the same time, real-time po, ipiprint na rin po nila agad yung uh, registration card. So, it was really quick. Okay. Compare natin yung face-to-face pa kailan nung nakuha mo yung registration card mo ngayon naman sa online. No? Sa online po, after picking your section and confirming and may kita mo po dun na yung registration card mo, meron kong PDF file mm-hmm. na it is very much downloadable. Mm-hmm. Pwede mo rin po siyang i-print on your own and pwede mm-hmm. mo siyang i-retrieve anytime. So like, hindi mo na kailangan pumunta ng registrar Correct, para no? magpa-print so, ng card. Ang ganda pa nito, Kaila, no? Pwede mong i-save yun as an image, di ba? Yes po. Tapos store mo so, lang sa, sa galay ng cellphone para anytime na kailangan mo, mabilis mo siya ma-access. Yes po. No? Hindi na kailangan pumunta sa register para magpa-reprint po ng uh, registration. Pipila ka pa, oh, di ba? Pipila ka pa, yes, jahe po. pa. Ngayon, may power ka na. Nasa finger mo na lang kung paano mo gagawin lahat ngayon sa yung, yung enrollment process. Po, Sobrang no? available niya, niya na po anytime. Wow, okay. Kaya na next question. No? How did you access your G Suite account And the first time you access your Canvas and other learning platforms, OLF. Yung uh, G Suite accounts po kasi namin, ever since senior high school, we graduated mm-hmm. senior high school, meron na po kaming nabit- Ay, nga nabit- pala. po kami. Yes, o nga, alumna no. ka pala ng uh, okay. senior high school. Yes, but nabigyan na po kami ng G Suite access. So ever since noon, like, nagde-develop, on the way na po talaga siya. And then, uh, ngayon lang pong online, ang difference niya is mas na-utilize po talaga siya. And nag- lumaki yung scope ng OLFU, nag-expand yung uh, online platforms. Mm-hmm. At yung G Suite, ang um, favorite thing, I just want to share po, yung favorite thing ko po sa G Suite is yung Google Drive. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Ako din. Yes, Pares po, tayo. Unlimited <laughs> Storage po, di ba? Correct. So, Oo, you will have a mga, copy. Isa yung sa mga perks natin, no? Na may, yes, na may G Suite tayo, okay? So, you will have a soft copy na hindi ka nag-worry na madedelete or exactly, yung storage kaya, ng phone mo punong-puno na. So, mm. meron ka pong copy noon. Naalala ko pa dati nung time ko na college student na kagaya, kagaya mo, no? Bumibili pa kami ng USB. No? Yes, po. Di ba? Bumibili pa kami ng... <laughs> na, ewan ko lang kung naabutan mo pa yun, yung parang yes, disk ba yun. Yes, sir. din po kami dyan. Oh, di ba? Wag ka rin din. Di ba? Napaka, <laughs> ano, napaka, na, parang napaka-jahe pa kasi dadalhin oh, mo pa. Po. Anywhere. Tapos, misa, na, mabilis, mamisplace mga ganyang malilit na bagay, no? Yes, po. And uh, nababirusan din po. Exactly. Yun ang, yun ang pinakamahirap. Uh, yun ang pinakamahirap, Kaila. Nung na, nagmagawa ka ng projects or may ginagawa kang reports or may ginagawa kang... Uh, uh, thesis or paper, no? Tapos na virus yung USB kasi kung saan sa mo sinasaksak ng mga computer yes, shop, di ba? So, iyon yung risk, no? Nung gumagamit dati ng mga flash drive, no? Pero ngayon, because we have our own G Suite, no? May, tapos may, may unlimited storage pa tayo sa uh, Google Drive natin, no? Lahat ng files na isa-save natin, safe. Tapos tayo lang nakaka-access, correct? Yes, po. And, Nakaganda ang panon kailan, no? Mabilis ka rin mag-share ng file. Opo. Um, you can connect to everyone inside OLFU agad, immediately. So, napaka-efficient po niya for us students po. Okay. Uh, uh, pag-usapan natin, Kayla, yung canvas, no? Paano, yes, nagiging, paano nagiging powerful or useful ang canvas sa sa'yo? as a student? Uh, yung Canvas po kasi talagang sobrang na-utilize namin yan ngayong uh, online setup. So, mm-hmm. first of all, binigyan po kami ng login credentials. Tapos, mm-hmm. I can say na Canvas is like a one-stop shop. Oh, wow. So it's like, I guess, yan, okay. uh, <laughs> opo, um, it's a single platform for all of your academic activities talaga. Lahat, andun po yung modules namin. Nandun mm-hmm. po kami tam na quiz doon po namin sinasubmit yung mga activities Correct. yung notifications din po niya connected sa Gmail mo 
Mm-hmm. And then, meron din pong option kasi si Canvas na may to-do list. So, parang hindi uh-huh. mo makakalimutan yung mga tasks <laughs> okay. na kailangan mong gawin. Mm-hmm. And at lastly, I think... um yung professors po kasi eh, pwede mo ring i-contact through Canvas. Exactly, oo. Yes, yun, yun, yung, yun yung nagiging ano ko eh, parang communication channel ko sa mga students yes, ko po. eh. Yung, yung Canvas eh, di ba? Pwede ka pa magbigay ng announcement. Di ba? Yes po. And a good thing din po kasi kapag ka-after ng quiz or ng exam, may kita na po namin yung exactly. score namin. Yun ang gusto ko i-add. Yun ang gusto ko i-add, Kyla. Yes, no? Alakad ka tahan ng Canvas, Kyla. Wala na pong agony. O, sa inyo, nakikita nyo agad yung grade. So, akaganda naman sa side ng mga teachers nyo or mga instructors nyo online. No, wala, nalilesa na yung mga nagre-reklamo sa summit sa mga grades. Kasi, yes po. Nakikita diba? na po namin. Nakikita nila. Nagiging transparent lahat. At, yes diba? po. Well documented lahat ng galaw mo. Ibig sabihin, recorded lahat. Yung quizzes mo, yung attendance mo. Diba yung projects, tapos yung syempre yung mga major exams natin, no? Yes, so by the, by the end of semester dati, Kyla, I will tell you story, no? Nung, yes, wala pang, nung hindi pa natin ginagamit yung canvas, yung gumagamit pa lang tayo ng, ng yung... Uh, Bubble parang, sheet po. Oo, oh, oh, yes, Google po. sheet lang. Ay, sobrang daming, marireceive ka ng mga complaints, mga ganyan. Pero ngayon, na lesson na kasi nakikita na nila kung yes, yung performance po. nila. Diba? Yung nakaganda ng canvas. Sa inyo, mm-hmm. Yun ang kaganda, nag- nakikita nyo yung, yung scores nyo. So, alam nyo kung uh, saan kayo dapat mag-adjust na subjects. Ano yung munang bibigyan nyo ng focus, correct? No? Totoo Or po. Or ano, ano, uh, ano, ano pa yung mga dapat mong ipasa para makakomply ka sa mga, uh, mga, mga insufficient mo pa ng mga requirements. Di ba, Kayla? Yes, sir. And dati, di ba, like you have to wait mga ilang araw pa. So, talagang kabado-kabado ka. <laughs> Ilan po yung score mo, di ba? So, ngayon talaga after Correct, the exam, uh-oh. ay, kita ko na. Okay na ako. <laughs> ay, oh, remember the bubble cards. Yes, po. <laughs> <laughs> di ba? Siyempre, madami nagpapacheck ng bubble cards sa registrar. Di ba? Siyempre, oh, ang hirap, ang minsan, sobra, sa sobrang dami, umabot pa minsan ng one, uh, three days, mga ganon. So, Ibig sabihin, three days ka pa mag-aantay kung score mo. Pero ngayon, after the exam, no, boom, ayan na. May kita diba? mo na po agad. Na po agad. <laughs> so, bubulaga na agad sa'yo. No? Okay. Uh, so, pagdating naman sa uh, yung canvas naman as yung nalilesa na yung yung cost mo sa pagbili ng mga books, no? Diba? Ano, yes, ano, kasi yung anong modules po ay... Anong kagandahan ng canvas sa'yo? Yan po, yung modules po namin ay nasa canvas na po lahat. And... Um, kompleto na po doon, like hindi na po kami bu- bumibili ng libro. Correct, kasi no? online na, yes po, kasi lalo na po nursing books ay talagang napaka Ay, oh, sobrang dami niyo. Oo, oh, dami dapat bibili ng books. Or tsaka, nung panahon pa namin, nako, Kyla, uso ang mga pagpo-photocopy. <laughs> yes po. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ngayon, di ba lahat, electronic copies na. Opo, mga online books na rin po. So, mm-hmm. napaka good thing po sa amin doon. That was very helpful for us din po. Okay. So, napaka-interesting nung first time mo sa pag-access ng G Suite natin, <laughs> ng Canvas, tsaka lahat ng learn, learning platforms natin. Nakakatuwa nung marinig uh, itong mga informations na to sa, sa student na gaya mo, uh, Kyla. No? Okay, yes. next. Another first time, Kyla. No? How was your first day with OLFU? Sige, bu- go back muna tayo dun sa face-to-face. No? So, what, uh, what, 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 what was your first day sa, sa OLFU nung face-to-face pa? First of all, ang na-feel na ko po talaga nun is very overwhelming kasi like mm-hmm. new environment, like everyone Correct. naman po experiences that eh. No? Mm-hmm. So, exactly. Ka, uh, bago nga po talaga yung ano nyo. And wala po akong kakilala nung time na yon kasi... <laughs> o nga kasi nursing ka. enroll <laughs> <laughs> Yes po, wala talaga. And then, um, nung senior high school, I really met my friends na I can proudly say na friends ko pa rin up until now. Mm-hmm. So, in pero contact, nasa different program. Different yes program po, sila. Um, most of them are still in all fu, pero different wow. courses ko. Good to hear that. Mm-hmm. Yes po. Ayan. So, I did not expect a long-lasting friendship and to be <laughs> able to meet my soul sisters po. It was fun. Uh-oh. So, sobrang happy ko po na sa Fatima ko because I was able to meet them at the same time. Uh, actually, nung ako, nung college ako, Noong first year, madami akong friends. Pero habang umaangat yung year mo, no? habang second year, third year, kumukonti sila. Tapos hanggang yung pinaka-fourth year mo na, yun yung natitira, mga tatlo na lang kayo. Yun, tapos best friends na kami ngayon. Oh, the process. 
'di ba? O closest talaga. Ibig sabihin, mag 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 compare minsan pag nagkaanak magiging ano. Siguro ganyan din nangyayari sa inyo mga friends mag compare kayo in the future, no? O kaya magtutulungan kayo sa mga careers niyo next. Opo, uh, na hit yung uh, super yeah. busy oh, diba? kayo, bonding <laughs> pa rin. Oh, correct, no. Okay, next naman interesting, no? Dahil teacher ako, mm-hmm. no, or uh, professor ako sa OLFU. My question is, how how's your first time meeting with your teachers? Face-to-face. Uh, um, senior high school teachers ko po, napaka-approachable oh. nila. Like, mm-hmm. may, syempre, classic po, introduce yourself, ganyan-ganyan. So, mm-hmm. sobrang fun po ng first day namin. Dahil yung mga professors ay fun din, they are going to give you a comfortable environment. Pero, mm-hmm. I also want to add up yung mga college professors ko po. Mm-hmm. They are very much passionate talaga sa kanyang... Wow! I mean, yes po. They really aspire us to and shape us into what we should be as mm-hmm. professional nurses nga po. And they always like share their experiences, yung perspective mm-hmm. nila or yung how mm-hmm. they view it in the real life. So mm-hmm. sa amin, napaka-inspiring po nun kasi we get a slice of real life na ma-motivate po kami na mag-push dun sa pinili naming path. Mm-hmm. And so I'm thankful namin na nagsishare po sila without any hesitations kasi wow. we are learning better that way po. Correct. No? Yung nakaganda, no? kasi katulad mo, Kyla, nasa College of Nursing ka, so kailangan talaga experiences yung um, pinapakita ng mga instructors mo kasi diba talagang buhay ang magiging, uh, buhay ang hahahandle mo in the near future, diba, Opo, na trabaho. Sure. No? So kailangan, lahat ng kanilang instruction, lahat ng kanilang ituturo sa inyo, talagang real, parang, parang pang real life talaga no yes sir okay Ka- kayla uh, next question no how you adjusted no to college the things you had learned the platforms that uh, were needed to get through the year no yung so, nagkaroon na tayo ng online yes po ang 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 nangyari po kasi noon dahil ABM ako i really had no idea sa mga medical field so mm-hmm. somehow nagkaroon po ako ng culture shock Mm-hmm. Kasi talagang new environment okay. po siya, yung formation ko po, accountancy, marketing mm-hmm. strategies, business planning. Tapos bigla, bigla <laughs> all of a sudden, Correct, medical no? terms. Then, oh, like, yung mga terminologies magkaiba. Yes, po. Ano po business yun? terminologies tapos mga medical terminologies, no? Yes po. Kaya, although, as mentioned nga po, sobrang helpful po ng professors namin. Correct. Um, kasi they will offer you the same treatment. They will mm-hmm. treat you equally. They are going to teach from the ground up lahat ng mm-hmm. basics. Wow. Kung hindi mo po ma-feel na hindi ka belong, hindi mm-hmm. ka ma-outcast dun sa course na yun, even if yung dati mong tinake ay hindi nga aligned doon sa oh, course na yun. Exactly, no? So, uh, patanong ko lang, Kaila, nung sa, sa classroom nyo, no? Yes, Kaya ilang kayo yung parang hindi talaga galing sa parang, di ba STEM yun kapag pag, yes, po, pag nursing ka? Oo. Ilang sa inyo yung parang, ilang kayo dun na parang parang medyo outcast dahil ABM kayo or ibang strand kayo tapos bigla kayo nag, nag, nag-paramedical course. Funny story po, meron po kong kaklase nung ABM nung senior high school na naging classmate ko rin po nung first year college. <laughs> Hindi ko rin kayo. po in-expect. Oo po, nagulad din po kami sa isa. Hala, bakit nandito tayo? Okay. <laughs> so, although... Um, okay po talaga yung environment. Hindi mo po talaga ma-feel na outcasted ka. Yung lang... yun, yun magandang sa sinabi mo, Kyla, no? Ganun dapat ang trabaho namin mga teachers, yes, no? Yes, po. Dapat kung sino yung parang na-left behind, yung dapat ang binibigyan mas, mat- mas matagal na focus, no? Yes, Kasi po. hindi ka magiging isang magaling na teacher kung lahat ng estudyante mo hindi natututo. Kailangan lahat yan mula sa una, eh, mula sa, sa, sa pinaka unahan na upuan hanggang sa pinakadulong upuan, dapat lahat mag Ma- matututo, correct? Yes po. Tama po yun. Tsaka kung sino man po yung may mga fear na uh, dahil iba nga po yung strand nila ngayon, like, tapos iba rin po yung course na desire nila na na-realize nila na iba pa rin gusto nila. I hope hindi po sila matakot na mag-try kasi in the end, it's uh, it's still gonna win na yung passion mo, yung uh, mag, uh, mag, mag, mas magiging helpful for you na mag-excel ka kasi yun nga po they will gan- they will treat you equally in college and mas mahirap din po talaga kapag hindi mo desired yung course correct. mo oh, correct no uh, actually sa, sa story mo Kyla no mababatunayan natin na ang OLF yun know, talagang meron tinatawag na bridging program no ibig sabihin kahit iba yung strand mo nung uh, strand mo nung senior high school mo tapos gusto mag-shift ng interest or ng career sa college mo 
dapat uh, huwag ka mabahala. No worries ka dahil tutulungan ka ng mga teachers mo para mag-adjust sa bagong environment na papasukin mo. Correct, Kaila? Opo, sir. Correct wow. po. Thank, thank, you sa, thank you sa information na yun, Kaila. At least na- nalalaman ng ating mga listeners na yung mga nag-worry na, ay, sir, nag-ABM po ako. Dapat po ba kukunin kong course pang ABM lang sa college? No, no worries. Kasi si Kaila, look at Kaila, no? ABM siya, pero ngayon, ngayon. Nursing <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kaila, let's have another interesting question. No? We know that COVID-19 and college now adjusting to the new normal. No? So we can say that college students as well as your teacher, no, we teachers are facing enormous challenges related to the pandemic, no? including the feeling of isolation, an excess of free time. No? When you say an excess of free, uh, free time, no? the reality is that it's still hard to juggle all the responsibilities and be able to focus when you need to. And that one is the unreliable internet connections. No? So my question, Kaila, to you is, how everything changed? Was it easy or hard for you to adjust to the new system or new normal? Um, if I'm gonna be honest po, it really wasn't easy. I think Correct. for everyone naman po yun. So, oh. uh, lalo na po personally, I'm more of a social person. So, <laughs> oh, po, yung online so, medyo, parang, hindi po uh, nag-work. During, nung, 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 during nung senior high school ka talagang friendly-friendly ka talaga, yes, parang people po. person ka talaga. I, I had a lot of struggles. And I think po, I'm speaking for everyone, mm-hmm. when I say na it was really a difficult time and an adjustment for us, lalo na noon po, I just want to share na Nung internet connection po namin nun, naka-data lang po ako nang nagsistart pa lang yung online classes. <laughs> Grabe yung struggle mo ah. So, Oo, oh, pag umuulan talagang unreliable. And then, another issue that we encountered is yung boundary po ng household versus school. So, exactly. Sobrang hirap po niyang separate. <laughs> And syempre, <laughs> meron din po tayong external environmental factors. Like yung, may bigla na lang pong titila ako na monok habang nag-report ka. Exactly. Ano, nag-video. kaila marami akong ganyan experience sa mga students ko. Oo oh, po. May nag-video ako sa kapitbahay. Mag-uutos po si nanay. Okay. Ay, nako. <laughs> Ay, ang uh, 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 story nung nagtuturo ako, tinatawag ko yung tinatawag ko yung sadyante ko. Alam mo, alam mo, ang namin ko yung binuksan yung microphone, inutusan siya ng mami niya bumili ng pandisari. Yes po. It, it's the little so, things na uh, nagmamatter po talaga. Uh, so, syempre, sa part ng, sa part ng, ng, ng student na nahihiya siya, or sa part ng mga oh, ng teacher naman sa instructor, no, kailangan natin understand kasi struggle nyo ng, ng, ng sudyante. No? Magkakaiba-iba tayo ng challenges everyday pag nag-online class tayo, di ba? Opo, sir. <laughs> okay. Actually, um, until now, to be honest po, I'm still adjusting. We are still adjusting po. Pero thankfully, Correct. Ako din, uh, ako din Kaila. Po. Yes po, sir. Mm-hmm. Pero kasi on the positive side po, sana observe ko lang po, uh, mm-hmm. All Food tried so much to cater the needs of the students. Wow. Um, an example of that po, kasi yung LRC ng OLFU. Mm-hmm. Yung learning tried, resource yes, center nila. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, siyempre, ang course po namin is very reliant sa books or sa references. Correct. Oo. So, napaka-wide po ng online library namin. They wow. partnered up with a lot of... Um, um, Science Direct, EBSCO Host, mga ganun po. So, ang dami po namin resources. Tapos, wow. naging lenient din po yung mga professor. Mm-hmm. Tapos kasi, as a student, doon ka na lang po kakapit, di ba? <laughs> Correct. Oo. Tapos, um, hindi rin po sila napapagod. Like, alam naman po namin na they are also struggling. Mm-hmm. But, you will really feel na they wanna teach you mm-hmm. so much. And um, Actually, ang mga nagsistruggle talaga, uh, Kyla, no? sa mga online professor or mga instructor, yung mga medyo, yung mga medyo, ano na sa technology, yes, di ba? Kasi it's yung mga, for them to relearn it po kasi since hindi correct. naman po yun yung formation nila. Oo, kasi nasanay sila, parang 20 years sila talagang online tapos biglang uh, yung massive shift ng learning, ano no, ng modalities natin online na, di ba? Parang okay. yung lalo yung mga, yung, yung iba na hindi ganun pagkagaling sa computer, di ba? So, yun yung mga, yun yung mga challenges natin, no? Kaya lang. Opo. And um, I just want to add, yung isa pa po sa nagustuhan ko na ginawa po ng OLFU is nag-offer po sila ng discounted fees. Wow. So kami po, like syempre, str- financially struggling po tayo with the pandemic. Correct. So we mm-hmm. were able to pursue our studies and somehow na-relieve yung financial um, concerns po namin since mm-hmm. they really offer the discounted fees. So oh, good tulad, thing feeling ko nga ikaw marami kang discount, Kyla, kasi sa pagsasalita mo pala, alam kong smart na student ka. <laughs> feeling ko isa ka sa mga scholars ng OLFU. I um thankfully po 
I am a current scholar of OLF Vivo. Wow, nice. <laughs> o, di ba? Talagang, uh, tal- talagang nakakatulong sa iyo ang OLF dahil yes, kahit paano, po. malaking discount ang bibigay because of your academic performance, no? Exactly, sir. Mm-hmm. Okay. And sir, well, I, I just want to share po for everyone mm-hmm. who's listening kasi mm-hmm. our professors would tell us to mm-hmm. look at the silver lining of the online class. Wow. Kasi, yes po, we might think na it's very struggle is it's just a struggle sobrang hirap lang mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but uh, in explain po sa prof namin na kami as nurses mm-hmm. face to face setup pa the mm-hmm. uh, students will learn the topic and then duty na agad sila sa hospital oh. kami, we get the chance na i-aralin muna lahat be able to um analyze everything na nasa online aralin muna before po kami mag-practice in the hospital Wow. So, pagdating po siya, di ba? Kung baga, uh, alam mo na. So, hindi ka na po mga nga pa pagdating mo sa duty. And um, it's easier na balikan na lang kasi like naaral mo na siya and mas possible, may possibility na mas, uh, mag, mas marunong na kami by that time since we wow. were able to study everything um, uh, due to the online classes nga po. So, yun. It was a good thing na to look at the silver lining nga naman po. Gusto ko yung, gusto ko yung spirit mo or your at, yung attitude mo, Kyla. Eh, parang, uh, despite, of, uh, despite of the pandemic, no, may, mga, may mga bad things tayo na experience. No? Pero itong mga bad things na, na to tinurn mo ito into opportunities. No? Naging opportunities to, no? Eh, parang, naging opportunities to sa'yo na aralin mo na lahat. No? Kailangan malaman mo lahat muna ng, ng mga theories or ng mga... Oh mga concept Atin procedures the procedures tapos by the time na nasa senior year ka na saka ka na magahan so at least alam mo na lahat di ba po apply na lang po ng apply exactly yan ang gusto ko no? that's the spirit <laughs> of apatiman uh, yan okay uh, napaka alam mo, alam mo kailan siguro pag ibigiging estudyante kita matagal tayo mag-discuss lagi sa klase <laughs> okay okay <laughs> okay papapasarap yung discussion natin baka ma- yes, sa isang discussion natin maabot na tayo hanggang chapter 3 okay so uh, Kyla this is, this is just a, a, a follow up question no? um, yes sir medyo ano to medyo challenging to sagutin pero gusto ko lang yung, yung perspective mo no? is college worth it even if classes are online sir I, if you're gonna ask me if I have regrets I don't sir Wow, okay. For me, I think it it had benefits. Of course, everyone had to adjust. Everyone mm-hmm. had to compromise. But I never had any regrets. And I think it is still worth it in the end. So it's really up to you kung matututo ka in the online setup or not. Mm-hmm. Kasi um, you have to convince yourself na pilitin mo na mag-strive na to do mm-hmm. better since I know the, the setup is very difficult mm-hmm. and um, up until now we're currently adjusting. Exactly. So, but since the progress is still good so far, you have to keep pushing. Okay. And I can say na I am doing well somehow kasi I continued po. Kasi to be honest, meron po talagang mga nag-stop. Uh-huh. Oh, and, madami. Yes. Oh, totoo yan. Mm-hmm. Kaya Pero po, at and, least nare-realize na nila na talagang kailangan nilang kailangan nilang mag-adopt, no? Yes, Yun po, yun eh, yung iba takot, takot pa dating mag, mag-adopt ng new normal, eh. Yes po. And I think na provide naman po ng OLFU lahat ng online platforms na kailangan namin Correct. for us to be able to survive in the online class setup. And hopefully, syempre, since skill-based din po ang aming course, we are still aiming na magkaroon po ng face-to-face. Wow, okay. Kaila, <laughs> Uh, what would you say to an incoming freshman this year so they can best prepare? Um, for uh, there's no uh, there's no actual preparation that you need to do mm-hmm. in um, entering college. You just have mm-hmm. to tell yourself now you're gonna do this for yourself, correct? For your future and for your passion. Wow. Okay. Another interesting question. If you have to use three words to describe this new reality or new normal, what would they be? <laughs> oh, diba? mm, what, what are the three normal. words? <laughs> mm-hmm. right. um, Very challenging, but alam ko, you can yes, po. You, you can do it. <laughs> um, let me think, sir. Okay. Um, I think Maybe. it's very cha- um three words. Okay. Challenging, but inspiring. Wow, I like it. Yes, sir. Wow, talaga, napaka-smart talaga ni Kyla. Impromptu question yes, pa yan. Yes, so, 
Sobrang challenging po kasi talaga. But you will see at the end of the day na marami pong inspiring na happenings everywhere. So, uh, let's use it as our motivation. Na okay, lang correct. No? You know, Kaila, no? today's first year students or yung mga lakarang first, uh, first, first year natin, no? they haven't had the same opportunities and they don't share the same sense of camaraderie and community they would have gained during the normal freshman year. So, um, ano yung parang, ano nang pwede mong sabihin sa kanila? No? Na kahit hindi nila na-experience yung parang normal na, 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 na remember ko dati nasa marketing department pa ako kasi I used to work with uh, marketing and communications department no? bago ako nag, nag-academe. Na, naalala ko pa dati, ayun ko na nabutan mo to Kyla na pag first day, no? first yes. day ng class may mga may welcome, par- parang may welcome freshman na tarpaulin tapos yung mga tuktok or may mga nag-welcome sa gate ng OLFU. Na, na-experience mo yung ganito hey, moment. Po. Wala na po. Sayang, no? hindi mo na-experience yun. No? <laughs> Usually kasi gano'n, gano'n, yung, gano'n yung ano namin eh, gano'n yung lagi namin. Parang culture namin, pag first, year, uh, pag first day ng mga freshmen, nag, 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 well, may, may pa-welcome na bongga sa first day lang yung lagi. Mm. No? Yun yung, 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 yung hindi na na-experience sa mga nag-online yes, na. Yes po. Okay. Oh, po. Okay. Um, so, uh, follow-up question, uh, Kaila, konting, konting oras na lang, no? Uh, Siguro pang in five minutes lang, matatapos na tayo, no? In student perspective, no? do you see going back to face-to-face classes again? Definitely, sir. Lalo okay. na po ang course namin is medically inclined and skill-based. And hindi lang naman po sa medical field, pati po mm-hmm. yung ibang courses like HRM, tourism, mm-hmm. business course. Kailangan nyo po yun, like, you have to socialize since yun po yung, kaila- uh, yung formation ninyo, di ba? So, okay. um, we also have to practice what we learned. And nakita naman po natin na OLFU is progressing into the limited Exactly. Class. I want to support I want to support your statement, no? Uh, you know, the current face-to-face classes are happening in OLFU now, no, Kaila? Yes. So yes. we are so proud to say that our College of Medicine and its approximately 100 graduating students kick off the Ostar, uh, historically limited face-to-face classes last March. Nabasa mo ba yun, Kaila? Opo, uh, sir. Wow, di ba? At least, diba, ibig sabihin talagang possible. Yes, huh? definitely, sir. Oh, and lalo- um, I think magiging beneficial po siya na uh, i-combine po yung face-to-face and yung online kasi um, mas magig- even if limited yung face-to-face, for sure, it will enhance our capabilities. Exactly. And focus ka lang talaga dun sa kailangan mong gawin during the time na sa face-to-face ka lang. Important okay. stuffs lang doon. And then yung exactly. other stuffs naman ay pwede mo nang i-deal with online. Correct, no? Gusto ko rin support tayo yung sinabi mo kanina na now we can say that uh, OLFU management is making efforts no, to, uh, to push this no, uh, face-to-face classes, no? Para lahat ng mga may kailangan ng mag-laboratories, mag- at least makakagroon silang hands-on uh, practice, di ba? Definitely, sir. Okay. So, you know, Kyla, I'm, I am very grateful for your generosity this afternoon in spending time speaking with me and sharing your insight about our dearest university, Our Lady of Fatima University. Thank you so much, Kaila. Thank you so much, sir, sir oh. for having me here. It really wow. feels great to share my experience. And hopefully, I was able to inspire people who are aspiring or current Fatimanians to get into the OLFU journey. Alam mo, Kaila, kahit hindi kita nakikita pa ng personal, no? talagang feeling ko napaka-adorable mo na uh, the student no? at napaka-charming. No? Okay, so, so much, I am feeling sir. awesome. I am feeling awesome also to our listeners today for uh, Phoenix Online Tambayan's uh, pilot episode. So that's it for our episode for today. I hope you, you guys had fun and were able to relax and chill with us. Kaila, baka meron ka pang gustong sabihin. Final words. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope that you were able to uh, learn something out of this podcast. Wow. Okay. So if you have any thoughts about this epi- episode or you just want to reach out to OLFU at Makitambay kasama ko, simply post those on your social networking site with the hashtag. What is the hashtag? Hashtag Phoenix Online Tambayan. And who knows, you might be the next guest to chill with us. Okay, again, this is JR Sistona. Thank you and watch out for the next Phoenix Online Tambayan episode. Stay safe, Fatimanians. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Kaila. Thank you, Thank you to our Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone.